Hey, this is Pastor Drew Bradshaw continuing our study where we picked up in the life of King David. All the king's men got the new hairstyle, getting ready for the new year. Got great things brewing, but I do want to keep up on that training on how to be the best followers because the best followers make the best leaders. There was a time about 15 years in David's life where he was on the run from King Saul. And in one of those episodes, he was all alone. He had no food, he had no weapons, so he came to Ahimelech in the land of Nob. And while he was there, Ahimelech greets him and says, David, what are you doing alone? Something was off, but David lied. He was deceitful. And he said, well, I'm on a secret mission from King Saul. I'm in a hurry. Do you have any food? Do you have any weapons? Uh, I'm really hungry. And Ahimelech said, well, all we got to the showbread. Only the priest can eat it, but we'll permit you to eat this, this occasion. And he gave him the sword of Goliath that had set there bound to the Ark of the Covenant. While he was there, we see that there was a man by the name of Doag, a Benjaminite, and he gave David some crafty eyes. Well, David got his food, got his sword, went on his way. And not long after that, Ahimelech's son, Abathar, ran after David. He said, David, after you left, Saul came looking for you, and he slaughtered all of the priests. He slaughtered all my family. Everybody perished, David. You weren't on a secret mission, were you? And David, he must have felt so grievous, he said, I have nobody, you have nobody together, let's make our stand. And so for the next 35, 40 years, David and Abathar became friends. Abathar became a close follower of David, even risking his life on several other occasions and allowing his son, Jonathan, to be a spy in the service of David. At the end of David's life, we read in 1 Kings that while David's on his deathbed and he's kind of out of the rotation of the kingdom, that he's going to make Solomon king, but the people don't know it. And his other son, Adonijah, makes himself king, and Abathar backs up Adonijah. So David on his deathbed has to deal with Abathar. First he says Joab is to be killed because of uh, all the murders he did during my reign. But Abathar, you're to spare his life, because whenever I suffered, he suffered. I want us to remember that. Whenever they suffer, we suffer. Leaders, when you have good followers, they suffer with you. If it's a bad economy for the boss, it's a bad economy for every employee. Don't call in sick on the hard days. People remember who was there. I get to do weddings and I get to do funerals. People don't remember much who was at the wedding. They just want cake. They want to dance. But I tell you what, they don't forget the people who put a hand on the shoulder at a funeral. It counts during the hard times. So followers, be there for your leaders when they're suffering, when they're down, when they're hurt. Don't leave them when they need you the most. And they'll always remember Love does cover a multitude of sins. Love in the past can cover sins in the future in cases like Abathar. So let's be those that are there when we're needed the most. The Proverbs chapter 20 verse 5 says it like this. Many claim to have unfailing love, but who can find a faithful person? Abathar was faithful, and so should we.